Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. How are you? It's good, teacher. I am good. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. Well, my dear, say I am fine. I am okay. I am fine. I am okay. Don't say I am good. Excuse me? Don't usually, we don't usually say I am good. Ah, okay. Thank you can you. use it yeah, in certain situations, but I mean, it can be misunderstood from some people. Okay. Um, I am fine. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm okay. I am, I am good. good. Okay. And Those you are teacher? Expression. Oh, How are I'm you? good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just fine, just fine, you know, same old story as usual. Ah, uh, okay, nice. I Here, feel, same old story, yes? I, para decir, yo siento que es viernes, I feel fried. Oh, you feel, you feel like? Ah, uh, okay. I or feel, you feel like Friday. It is like it is a Friday. Ah, uh, okay. Or more complex, a little bit more complex. I feel as if it were Friday already. This is more beautiful, okay? I feel as if it were Friday already. Siento como ah, okay. que ya fue este ah, okay. Lucky you, lucky you. No, I feel like if it's Thursday. Ah, yes. <laughs> For me, it's Thursday. And this weather is killing me. Yeah, y, um, um, the weather is very hot today. All day long has been terrible. Uh, the uh, only thing I, I've been doing is turn it, turning around so I can boil like completely. Yo solo me está dando vueltas para cocinarme completo. <laughs> yes. The, it's been terrible. The song is very hard. Very, yeah, very hard. Yeah, it's strong. Yeah, it's I mean, strong. it was terrible. It was yeah. terrible. I mean, yeah, I went it's... out today. I went out today at noon, and believe me, from from parking the car to the place I was going, it took me like three minutes, and I felt roasted. I mean, it was so hard at one p.m. Man, it was crazy. Yes, this is very ush. Yeah, and the funny thing is this. I'm not white. I'm not so blank, but uh, I mean, I got I got under the sun one hour and I get dark. Yeah. I get dark and it takes me months to go back to my original color. It's crazy. Uh, and, and do you pre prefer a uh, cold? Oh. oh, I love when it's cold. I love it. Yeah. Do you like when the weather is very, it's rain? Oh, yeah. One of my favorites. I, <laughs> I love when the days are gray. I mean, yes, I like, I like to, but I gray don't like. Gray and cold. Gray Excuse and me? cold. Gray and ah. cold are beautiful for me. <laughs> For me, only only when the sky is very how do you say gray? Gray, 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 gray. But but I don't like when the rain. When it very, rains, very cold. Mm, no, I like it when it's cold. It's for me, it's the best. <laughs> The only problem is when it gets windy that you get dry, you get dry skin. Yeah. Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, well, and how was everything for you? Uh, today I was work at at um, at the office. Okay. And, um, I was working. I was uh, working at the office. Que si no. 
I don't understand. I was working at the office. I was working in the office. And is today I was very, no, very no. Is busy, but, but uh, I try the, the, the talk with my partners. <laughs> and very nice today for me. Okay. Tomorrow, I don't have yes. the afternoon free. <laughs> Why not? Eh, I don't know. Eh, maybe the other week, the other Friday. Next Friday. Next Friday. Mm -hmm. Next Friday. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, bad. <laughs> anyway. Okay, well, thank you, Ingrid, and welcome. Thank you, teacher. Antonio, hello, how are you? Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you in this very hot day? Yes, teacher. The day was very hot, very hot again. Yeah, no, but today was worse than yesterday. Yesterday was hot, but today was terrible. Yes, and and also today I I feel a little bad. I guess I I have a headache. I'm sorry. I have headache. A headache. A headache. Yes, I have I have a headache, and I don't know if I. I'm going to get sick. Oh. Yes. That's so bad. Yes, teacher. But I don't know. I I I drink I drink a uh, a pill. Pill is okay. Yeah, pill. Yes, I drink a pill for my head. Maybe tomorrow I, I I will I will feel better. Let's hope so. Yes, Let's hope so. Maybe maybe is the for the weather. I don't know because today in the morning was. Estaba haciendo viento. Was windy. Yes, in the in the morning was was windy, and during the the day was. Very hot. And also right now it's hot here. Yeah, it's pretty hot. Very, very hot. And uh, yeah, I mean, me for sleeping, well, hmm. Actually, for sleeping, that's not going to be a problem. Well, for Ingrid, it's not going to be a problem. She will turn on the air conditioner and that's it. Really? Yeah, you see, I can see. Yeah, I can see the air conditioner right there. She's got a, one right there behind her. Ella tiene uno y otra de ella. Look. Ah, okay. Yeah, we need to take it. I think it does. I, I just, just I, I, I have a, a window. Yeah. <laughs> you have a yes. window and, and a good fan. Yes. yes. This, this is the air condition. Here, teacher, can you That's see? the air conditioner. Yeah, I can see your air conditioner. Yes, teacher. Yeah, I mean, I found that. Yes, teacher. It's very hot. Yeah, I know. I know what you mean. But no, to be honest, I got an air conditioner in my bedroom. I mean, we got the bedrooms got air conditioner, but the problem I have is that my wife and the air conditioner that can get along well. If I turn the air conditioner, she starts like getting sick. Man. Oh and I, so I end up all night like ah, sweating and I got the air conditioner like on top of my head and I'm like, man, I need it. 
Oh, teacher, this is a big problem for you. Yeah, what I do sometimes is that I turn it just for like for 45 minutes, one hour, and just for the room to, to get fresh and then I so I can sleep. Because oh, okay. me, I mean, I'm the type of person that I can, well, I can not stand even the sheet. So for me to be when the weather is so hot, man, I'm like pushing people because I don't want it to be hot. I mean, ah, I hate it. This is this is my case too. I I I use the savanna. How do you say? Yeah, the sheet. The sheet. Only only the morning. Maybe um, between three, three four a.m. Three four a.m. teacher. Because it's very it's very yeah. hot. Yeah, I know, I know. Yes. But what can we do, teacher? It's the weather. Yeah. It's the weather. Yeah, it's the weather. Yes, teacher. And uh, let's see. Well, Antonio, welcome. Thank you, teacher. Let's see, who else? Mr. Chavez, hello, good evening. Hello, teacher, good evening. How are you? I'm fine, teacher, I'm, I'm relaxed. Uh, I'm very happy with my new schedule, like that. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, yeah, I remember that you changed. You got in, uh, you clock in at six, right? And you come out at one, is that right? Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm going to start to 6 p.m. to 1 p.m. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. yeah you, got the, you got almost the whole afternoon free. Yes, that's right. I have the whole, the whole afternoon for me and, and my family. Okay. And are you going to switch a shift or you're going to be on that shift for long? For a long time, I guess. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah, yeah, because I mean, you can you can take advantage of that time for your family. You avoid traffic. Yes. You it save. Is you save on gas. Yes. Simply, yeah, I mean, yeah. I go I go to Santa Tecla every day per six six day per per week. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's a lot of gas. A lot of a lot of, a lot of money too. Yeah, I know, I know. But what can we do, yeah. right? But it is it is what 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 you say, it is a part of the life. Yeah, it's part of life. I mean, what can we do? Yeah. Yes, yeah, I mean uh, uh, let's tell me. Excuse me? No, no, no. Tell me, what were you going to say? Okay. Uh, uh, another thing uh, I like is it is the, uh, the air conditioner. I have the air conditioner all the time in, in, my, in, my, in my workplace. It, uh, it's good for me because I don't like the, the one I had it. Yeah, me too, me too. The only one who loves it is English. She said that she likes it when it's hot. She feels happy when it's hot. And I'm like, that's terrible. I'm like you, I love it when it's cold. For me, me too, it will be cold all year long. I mean, for me, like uh, right now, supposedly it's around 25, 26 degrees. Man, for me, it will be like 20 the top. Uh, and for me, teacher, I, I had the opportunity to travel to another country, and uh, I've been in, in, in Chile. Uh, there, there is very cold. Oh yeah, that's something that I like. I like to know. Uh, uh, I was, I've been there in in the winter. Oh, nice. Uh, estuve ahí, ¿cómo se puede decir? 
Estuve ahí. I was there. Cuatro, estuve ahí en cuatro ocasiones. I was there four times. I was there four times, teacher. Uh, I love that this that country. Okay, well, that's nice. Actually, actually, I I I miss Chile. Oh really? Yeah. Uh, uh, sometimes uh, I think and I remember when I when I been when I been there, and I miss the people, oh. and I miss the um, environment there, and I miss the weather, the cold, the snow, the mountains. Well, the snow is nice when it's snowing, but when it's after it snows, uh, well, if you're in the countryside, it's a little bit, if you're in the city, it's cool. But if uh, you're in the countryside, it's, Santiago it's de Chile. Cute. Oh, yeah, the capital. Uh, Santiago de Chile, uh, I don't like, because it's the same with the traffic, and it's very, very, como se dice, Moderno is very, very, it's very, very. But it's modern. It's modern. It's yeah. Modern, but, but I don't like the city. I prefer the countryside. Yeah, I understand you. I understand you. No, what I mean is that in the countryside, when it snows, and example, when the llueve, after it snows, when the snow starts melting, oh, it's difficult. Cuando la nieve comienza a retirarse, es un poquito difícil, complicado. Sí. Lo más frío que estuve fue, ¿cómo se diría? Lo más frío que estuve fue menos tres grados. The coldest. Oh, minus three is, I mean, it's cold. It's cold, way cold. But really cold. You, yeah, you can go out with, when you are minus three, I mean, you just need a couple of jackets and perhaps a beanie. I mean, it's it's still it's still uh, manageable. So we can have it. To to enjoy the to enjoy that, that that weather, never use jacket or or sweater or or gloves because I love, uh, I love I love the cold. But when you are like minus twenty, we will talk. Yeah. You need, you need. I mean, I, I remember a friend. I remember a friend, he was playing out on the snow. We were on minus, minus 12. And I remember a friend and uh, his, his ear love. I mean, we were using, uh, 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 I don't remember the name of the, but it. No, but I it. Yeah. Uh -huh. We were using dogs, and, and I remember he was he wasn't, and he felt like, oh, oh look, uh, I don't feel my ear, and he touched it, and he broke his air lobe. Se le quebró el lobo. It was frozen. Very, very dangerous, teacher. Yes, it is. Teacher. And, 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 and where he lives? Oh, that was uh, that happened in, 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 in Canada. Canada, Canada, Canada is, is, is very cold. Extremely, Canada is it's extremely cold. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you gotta be careful. Well, there are some places that are cold, even in the states. I mean, if you go to some areas from Milwaukee and the in the winter, Minnesota. if you go Minnesota, Minnesota is cold. It's really if you cool. go, if you go to some areas near to Chicago. Like, uh, I mean, like, like a Detroit too. Oh, Detroit is cold, but I mean you are in the border, and yes, the, the, the areas close to the Great Lakes are cold. Las áreas mm -hmm. los Grandes Lagos, they are very cold. But, but the same you got in in the same you got in South America. I mean, if you are in in some areas from Chile, if you go to Peru. I mean, there are certain areas there that are cold as, I mean, Fisher, cold. Uh, in this case, my, my, my favorite part of my country is El Pital because it's, it's very cold. 
I like El Cristal. My, my. Uh, once I were there, I was there and I slept on a hammock. Yo recuerdo en diciembre durmiendo ahí en la maca. Yes, I, I've been there in, in December. Yeah. The past year. Yeah, I like it. It's cold. I mean, we usually go, uh, well, with my sister, we have gone camping there. It's nice. I like it. I like it. And uh, I was also here in Salvador, one of my favorite places by the Cordillera del Balcamo. I don't uh, know. It's a town. Perhaps Magdalena will know that area. It's a. Uh, mm, man. Man, I was living there for five years and I just forgot the name of the, of the town. Ah. I just sure. forgot the name of the town. That's. Awesome. Yeah, but it's by Cordillera del Balsamo. I was living there and believe me, it was very, very cold. Uh, where, where is that teacher? How, how can, and how can I go there? Oh, that's why. Let me just remember the name of the town. I will. Maybe I don't remember. No, 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 no. You go, you can go, you can get there by Tomasawa, Chintipan. Ah, no, Chilpipan. I was staying there in Chilpipan like for five years. Man, that place is cold. Which department? La Libertad. Ah, Libertad, really? Yeah, you are like, uh, if when you're in the town, I mean, you can see the ocean right there. It's uh -huh. right there. It's like in front of you. And it's but, like 11, but, uh, 11 kilometers down is the ocean. But the but town is up on there. the hills. The town is up in the hills and it's cold. Yeah, okay. like if you go in, if you go in November, December, man, it's cold. And if you go on the rainy months, you got to be prepared. It's cold and humid. Really? But yeah. but you can see but you can see the, the ocean there. Yeah, and you can see the storms like right here. Las tormentas no miran frente. That's great, teacher. Yeah, it's funny. Okay, teacher. Okay, well, nice talking to you. Welcome. Okay, teacher. Give me just a second, guys. Sorry, 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 sorry. Magdaleno, hello, good evening. How are you? Hello, teacher. I am at home. I am at home. Okay, how's everything? Mm, right. Working the whole day and arriving late at home, preparing a lot of things. A new office, we are working we are working in a new office. Oh, really? A new office. Yes, for the pastoral teams. Oh, that's nice. Yes, tomorrow we are working for, for that. We are working in that. We are working cleaning and painting the new office. That's great. Yeah. So you're going to be busy. <laughs> yes, like every day. Uh, as usual. <laughs> yes, the usual. It's the usual. Yes. Tomorrow I have a, I have a meeting in in the morning, maybe all the morning with a lunch and in after in the in afternoon we are working in the office. And oh. then and then mm -hmm. the worship Friday night. The Friday night worship. Okay. It was me, my, it was, no, it will be my schedule for tomorrow. Okay, well, you're gonna be busy. Yes, <laughs> a little bit, only a little bit. Yeah, you know that area in La Libertad, right? 
Yeah, Chilquipa, you 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 told you told about that. Chilquipan. I know Chilquipan, I know Chotepeque, but I am working in uh, La Argentina town. It's part from Jicalapa. Oh, I know Jicalapa. Uh -huh. Jicalapa is near to Chilquipan, if you remember the place. Yeah, I do, I do, I, I actually do. It's a nice place. Yeah, Jicalapa, I, I like Jicalapa because it's, uh, it's like a, a town stop in the time with the little park, the the city hall, the church, everything together in the in the center of the of the town. It's wonderful, really wonderful. You can see the mountain and you the mountain. Feel it. The mountain. Mountain. Yeah, you well, don't pronounce you the repeat? T. Mountains. Mountains. Yeah. The T is not pronounced. No pronunciamos okay. Mountains. Okay, no, well, that's nice. Mountains is mountains. No. It's okay. Yeah, the mountain, the mountain. Mountains. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, in, in this case, it's like that. The city hall is really small. The first time when I visit this, this country, this town. When I visited. Ah, the first time when I visited this town, I saw the city hall. It was it it is so small. Only have four offices and a little a little sala de espera. How do you say? Waiting room. Waiting room. Okay, a little waiting room, a little conference room. I I I had a meeting with uh, the mayor of the city and uh, really a little bit uh, really a little a little uh, meeting room it was really yeah, that's, a little that's normal that happens in, in those places you know <laughs> yes i remember it. i remember in this meeting the mayor was really hungry because because the um, is actual president is right yeah because the actual president um, take out from take out take out the money of something for the city hall and the the mayor was so hungry for that so angry angry for that <laughs> he's yeah, angry cause, right? cause of that cause of that okay he was well you can so, say that he was perhaps he was mad ah mad is a good word he was mad yeah really yeah, he was he was very mad Okay, give me just a second for everybody. Remember the word mad, if you look for it, you will come out a palabra mad, it will mean something like crazy. But when you use it like, oh, you know, um, Xiomara was very mad yesterday because she didn't participate. Xiomara estaba muy molesta. That's mm -hmm. the meaning in, in that context. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's been difficult for some city halls. <laughs> yes, it it was my last meeting with the mayor. Yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine. <laughs> yes, it was. But I receive a uh, someone project for the job of of my of my town. Okay, for, that's nice. Yeah. It was, it was pretty time. Okay, great, great, great. Okay, guys, let me get the attendance. I have forgotten. Mountains. Uh, let's see, Carlos Elivaldo Abrego Marmon. 
Uh, Edwin Alberto Rodríguez Lobo. Gabriel Beltrán Pérez. Thank you. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. Present teacher. Ivan Petrovich Guzman Aquino. Present. Thank you. Ivani Echamile Domínguez Hernández. Yvette Lisette Figueroa de Calles. Carla Lisette García Lim. Present teacher. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Present teacher. Luis Mario Criollo Guerrero. Present teacher. Magdalena Escalante Orantes. Present. Eh, Maylin Janet Manzano Montoya. Present. Nelson Antonio Rodas Rosales. Present teacher. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Present teacher. Rosalina Alvarado. Salvador Alexander López García. Present teacher. Salvador Emilio de León Fuentes. Verónica Arelí Achala Ramírez. Wilfredo Arevalo Ortiz. Oh, there's Wilfredo. Xiomara Elizabeth Cisneros Gonzalez. Present, present Thank you, Wilfredo. Thank you. Xiomara Elizabeth. Present. Thank you, Carlos Josué Chávez. Present teacher. Thank you. Okay, wow. Well, hmm. Okay, let's see. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, guys, let's continue. I still got time. Today, today the, the work from the manual is going to be very easy because just a couple of exercises analyzing vocabulary. Mostly today is going to be a conversation class, okay? We're going to work a lot of conversation. So let me see before I move on. Wilfredo, hello, good evening. How are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you, mister? I'm fine, teacher. Okay, how was your day? Yes. So, so, teacher. Why? Because it's most heavy in the uh, uh, workshop or in the taller. Oh, really? Yes, and the project. It's more pesado in the taller than the project. Oh, that's interesting. The only good thing is that you go home to sleep. Yes, yes. That's what we do. Yes. Yeah, but I mean, anyway, right? Yes. Okay, and well, tomorrow's Friday. Tell me, tomorrow is a regular schedule or you go, you leave earlier? And then it's getting it. uh, Regular? Tomorrow, regular, regular. Yes. Oh, that's bad. This. Okay. Well, Wilfredo, nice having you here. Welcome. Sure. Let's see. Carla, hello. How are you? Hello, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Tell me, how's everything? What? 
How's everything? ¿Qué tal todo? Um, so, so. So, so. Come on, guys. Everybody oh. telling me so, so. This day was busy. Um, dolor. Uh, what's, what do you say, dolor? Pain. Pain. Um, um, pantorrillas. Oh, really? Yes. Um, That's bad. It, yes. Um, That's bad in I your will, ankles. Uh, I am will I have them a little uh, inflamada? Swollen. Swollen. So swollen. Uh, but right now, I uh, uh, in agua tibia. Uh, uh, no oh, in warm es. water. In warm uh, water. In warm water uh, to relax my feet. Yes. Yeah, my my feet. Yes. Oh, yeah, that's so bad. That's so bad. So sorry to hear you. Okay. Yeah, it's it's uncomfortable, right? Right. Okay, well, welcome to the class. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Now, let's see. Luis Mario, hello. How are you? Hi, teacher. I changed so so for a little bad. <laughs> okay, why? Because I am sick. I have oh, what's your bad? You got I the flu? flu. Yeah. And, and you know, there is always a, a day, a one day or two, that the symptoms are more strong, stronger. Uh, well, okay. today is that day. <laughs> yeah, I understand. That but happened I, to I, me last week. Really? Yeah. Yeah, and when the weather is hot, it's more terrible. Yeah. Yeah. That's worse. That's right. I have a... a um, esto sí lo busqué en internet para saberlo decir, perdón. But I have a sore throat. Yeah. Well, and, uh, you can take you can take some syrup for it. What? What is the mean for that? Oh, the syrup. Yeah. It's uh, the 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 one we take for the for the throat. The liquid we take in a spoon. Oh. Let me see. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, give me a second. Okay. Zero, zero, zero. That's zero. the pronunciation. I'm sorry. Zero. Harabe, uh, harabe, right? Okay. Zero. Yeah. I'm sorry. I was remembering phonetics. Okay. Don't worry. Yes, yeah, zero. It's just that it's not a word that I use daily. I'm sorry. That's that happens to me sometimes with some words. I need to remember how they are pronounced because it's I don't normal. use it like every day. It's yeah. normal. And you know this. The syrup, uh, this word is kind of funny because I mean, um, you will find it also. Some people, uh, some people say it, uh, write it with I instead of Y, but actually the correct one is with Y, syrup. Okay. Syrup. And that's a. Uh... There is another mean when we use with the I or or no. What you mean with the I? Oh no 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 no. Actually, it's not correct in English. Ah okay okay okay. It's not correct. The correct one is with Y. With Y. Zero. Okay. Yeah, and it's the same word that we use for for uh, the one from Napoli. You know. Okay. The ones okay. you use for for hotcakes. 
Yeah. Man, that's something I don't like either. Hot cakes, I hate them. Okay. Well, okay. I, I, Let's I, hope I, you get better, my friend. Let's hope you get better. Thank you. Thank you. I will and try to rest, participate in class. Yeah, rest, rest your job. Rest your job. Thank you. No problem, no problem. Okay, now let's see, let's see. Um, Rosalina Alvarado. Rosalina, say present, please. Present teacher. Thank you. <laughs> Here it happens. Good, good evening, teacher. Good evening. Nice having you here. Thank you, teacher. Yesterday I have some, a lot of job, but only listen the the class. That is is a uh, a lot of vocabul new vocabulary. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, and it's it's something good in this in this course that we are getting new vocabulary and a lot of vocabulary, and that allow us to 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 learn more. Yes. Okay. Well, welcome to the class, Rosalina. Thank you, teacher. No, thanks to you. Now, let's see. Give me just one second, guys, that I have something here, but uh, believe me, having more than one screen, it's a little bit of a problem. And now I got two screens, so I need to be checking because I have some info in here that I need to share with you. Okay, because oh, 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 oh. okay, guys. Now I gotta. Do you remember that yesterday we were talking about behavior? Today we are going to continue talking about that, and but in a little bit different context. The question for you today is, are there historical figures you admire? Is there one historical figure you admire? You need to tell me if there's one historical figure you admire and you need to tell me why, okay? But not just me, you are going to tell your classmates, okay? Okay, give me just a second. because I need to set the, the rooms. My computer is a little bit slow, like my mind today. Let me just make a small adjustment. Where is it, where is it, where is it? Oh, right here. Okay, groups are created. Just one question for you to discuss. You need to tell who's a personal a historical figure you admire and you need to tell why. Why do you admire that person? Why do you think that person uh, is important for you or for humanity, okay? Like, I don't know, for some people could be Jesus, for some other people could be Gandhi. I mean, up to you. I mean, everybody's got a different point of view and that's what I want you to tell, to expose your point of view, okay? Remember, I will be jumping from group to group and I want to listen English being spoken, okay? You are in the level that you can express your ideas slowly, but in English, okay? Let's make the effort. And if you need any help, any help please let me know.
Five minutes for this activity, guys. Five minutes. ¿Cómo se dice? Uh, Patience. Hello? Patience, I don't know. Patience, paciencia. Oh, yeah, me. You are talking about me. Oh, yeah. I'm very patient. I'm not. <laughs> eh, de... ¿Cómo se dice paciencia? Patience. Ah, patience. The patient he had for the sick. For the, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. And you? I admire uh, Vincent Van Gogh. Oh, Vincent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like the, I like, I like the, how do you say uh, cuadros, pinturas? Paintings. Portrait. I, I like the portrait, the painting. It's very, it's very um, beautiful for me. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. Yomara, um, are you there? Sí. Are there historical figure five figures? How do you say figuras? Figures. 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 You admire. In my case, I admire only Jesus because the, because he died for love for us. Who? I don't listen in good. Yamara. Hola. I Me don't... escucha. Es que, es que pero, tengo pero. problemas con el internet, fíjese. Yeah, but Estoy now we can hear you clear. Estoy teniendo problemas con el internet ahorita. Ya, ya desde ratito, desde que me conecté. Vaya, oh, pero le... what you can do, what you can do, I'm sorry, Xiomara. Una cosa que podría hacer es desactive la cámara por unos minutos. Eh, la cámara absorbe parte de su ancho de banda. Y solo deja, y solo deja activar en este momento el micrófono. Ok. Ok. But in my case, I admire Jesus. 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 True. Teacher is here. How do you say activista? Activist. An activist. Okay, oh, for you, Antonio. Hello. The word Hello. activist. I can't hear Magdaleno. Okay, the word activist. Ah, uh, the you word saw, active. Uh, how you do told you say, that. Uh, repeat, you say, how do you say activist? Activist. Activist. Okay, thank you. We, mm -hmm. we are talking about Nelson Mandela. I don't remember. Gandhi, Gandhi yeah. Libertian Indians. Yes, That's okay. Indian. To the to the Inglaterra, o sea, the same. <laughs> los in the same case, the William Wallace. Yeah, the same, but in an opposite. Uh -huh. okay. Okay. Increíble. William Incredible. Wallace. William Wallace was in Scotland. Scotland. Okay. Yeah, William Wallace. Like the like What do you say? Yeah. Dismember. Dismember. He was dismembered, then hanged, then I don't know, they killed him like a, 
It was mm -hmm. like rats put in that they kill in different ways. Really? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. It's okay. interesting life in, in William Wallace. Uh, I will read about because I I I don't know the the people, these people. Human people. Very yeah. interesting your your life. Uh, uh -huh. Liberty and the Scotland and the uh, Empire in England. Yeah. Nice. Nice. That's okay. Yeah. Okay, I think who who's next? Um, I like the paper novels. Okay, Wilfredo. In my case, uh, 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 I admire ch children because say a lot of Israeli people to die in the Second World War. Do you know? Do you know children? Like the movie, the list of children. Oh, yeah, yeah, but not Israelis. Uh, and he. I gave mean, me. yeah, Jews, Jews. <laughs> Yes, Jews. He saved Jews, and he spent a lot of money to pay for for the youths. Yeah, that was Jews. Yeah, yeah, he did that. Yeah, it is a. Uh, he was a good person, a great person for me. If you take on sky. Enjoy, Salvador, enjoy. Carlos, enjoy. Okay, thanks, teacher. Yeah, thank you, teacher. Thank you, thank you. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Maybe tell me, who's an historical figure you admire? Um, so, so what? How did they, alguien como tal? I'm sorry? 
How do you say alguien como tal? Somebody like. Okay. I can admire, admire somebody like because um, I think some people is very, very important. But I admire scientific figures and I okay. like to enjoy the knowledge. Okay, interesting, thank you. Let's see, um, Salvador Alexander, tell me, is there any historical figure you admire? Hey, teacher, good evening. Good evening. Um, for me, the the figures figures uh, is um, a national. This is Prudencia Ayala. Okay. Uh, because because she was active in movements and feminists and movements anti anti imperialism imper, and imperialism. Imperialism. Uh -huh. Is it's, a, it's a, a precursor of the fight for women's humans uh, in the in the country uh, in a time in a time that impossible for the women's uh, in the time for, oh for women rights for women rights women's women's rights women 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 women's, women's rights right. Is como derechos, derechos de mujeres, verdad? Yep. Yeah, okay. Uh, in in a time uh, that impossible for the women uh, hacerlo, que era imposible para las mujeres. Hacerlo. Yeah, at a time where it was impossible. Well, it was pretty difficult for women to do it. For women to do it. Okay. In in a time that that women Mm, cannot cannot uh, votar voto vote vote yes it, it, this is this is my my historical fears okay interesting thank you okay Ivan tell me what about yours okay uh, uh Sí, es uh, uh, William Wallace in, in Liberty in Scotland. Scotland, Scotland. Uh, excuse me? Scotland, Scotland. Scotland. Yeah. Okay, Scotland, thank you. Scotland is an inter interesting life in, in this person. Uh, I like, I like, uh, I like the, this, 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 this person is uh, uh, based in the in the movie uh, history. Yeah, says uh, others. The character, the character, the character, the character. Character is is, is brave, brave, valiente, brave. Yeah. Yeah, I like is the. Uh, George, uh, is. Como, how do you is how do you say is the um, templanza or bravery? Bravery, bravery. Yeah. Okay. Inspiring, inspiring. Uh, good, good, uh, good things in my in my life. Okay, interesting. Okay, well, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Luis Abrego, tell me, what about you? <clears throat> okay, teacher, in in my case, I, I admire Nelson Mandela a lot because he went through many difficult situations and even so he showed his country that you can fight for what you want. 
Oh, what? Oh, yeah. Okay, interesting, Mandela, yeah. Very interesting yes. character. Yes, teacher. Let's see, let's see. And last one, let's see, Rosalina, what about you? Okay, I have some, but I'm talking with a, a partner, uh, Gandhi, because Gandhi was a lawyer, um, leader for the independent movement, 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 movement in India. Um, no, the India for England, something like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. And then, and then don't use any guns don't use the war only pacific pronunciation about the human rights to the indian people and it's a good example that the human uh, uh, talking and not use the violence for uh, for um, for make the <laughs> for make the agrees accords the 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 accords uh -huh. the accords yeah I think okay thank you okay thank you thank you thank you okay guys next question but before next question let me get the attendance because i always forget you know me <laughs> so i can get like be free of that carlos elivaldo abrego marmol edwin alberto rodriguez lobo gabriel beltran perez ingrid beatriz natalia palacios molina thank you gabriel present teacher thank you ingrid Ivan Petrovich Guzman Aquino. Presence. Ivania Shamile Dominguez Hernandez. Yvette Lizette Figueroa de Calles. Carla Lizette García Lemos. Present. Uh, Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Present. Luis Mario Criollo Guerrero. Present. Teacher. Magdaleno Escalante Orantes. Mailin Janet Manzano Montoya. Present. Nelson Antonio Arrodas Rosales. Present, teacher. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Rosa Lina Alvarado. Present, teacher. Salvador Alexander López García. Present, teacher. Salvador Emilio de León Fuentes. Present, teacher. Verónica Arelia Chala Ramírez. Wilfredo Areval Ortiz. Present. Chemar Elizabeth Cisneros Rosales. Present. Carlos Josué Chávez. Present. Ok. Let me just give you something. Okay, now we are going to think and analyze something else. This is a, today we are going to go into deep questions, okay? Now, in your opinion, guys, your personal opinion, remember, is opinion, so don't get too excited, okay? Relax. Everybody's got their own opinion. Are bad people bad because of circumstances or choices? What about people? What do you think? Are bad people bad because of the circumstances or choices they make in life? What do you think about it? What's your opinion? Let's discuss that, okay? Let's get into the groups again, five minutes, just five minutes, and I will ask some of you, what did you discuss in the groups?
no, Carlos, I was waiting for you. Let me get you into a group right now. Hello, guys. Hello. Hello. Yes, they are yes. finished the discussion. <laughs> okay, let's go back. Let's go back. Let's just wait for everybody to come back. Okay, let's see. Everybody's coming back right now. Okay, teacher. Okay, let's see, let's see, everybody's here. Okay, now Magdalena, tell me about people, but because of circumstances or choices, what do you think? Teacher, um, it's a decision. You can choose. You can, you can choose. choose. You can choose if you are bad or or get a good person. It's your decision. I decide be a pastor. Someone decide be a a drug seller. Maybe um, I don't know. Someone. Someone can take a decision, can, cho can choose. They can choose, okay. Interesting, thank you. What do okay. you think about it, uh, Salvador de Leon? Okay, in my opinion, I'm sorry, I, <clears throat> in my opinion is more choice. But no, it's necessary if a person is poor or rich. Really, actually, in this is the, the society, no comments. Society. Society. It's a uh, attack continue for different uh, values for the donors. But the, the crimen in the movies, news. Crime. Crime. In the move in the series, the movies and the news and the and the all including the old type of, of information is attack continue for, for the it's normal for example in in United States, uh, uh, buy a gun is uh, more easy for buy a, 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 a it 
foot, I'm wrong, Ooh. sorry, foot, Ooh. foot, foot. Uh, really, it's, it's much decision for the principal values you're receiving to your honest, your, your partners, uh, it's the principal teach for this, this and in our family for the whole process in this is choice, it's your choice. Okay, interesting. Quite interesting. Let's see. Uh, Luis Mario Creo, what do you think? What's your opinion? By choice or, or by circumstance? It's a good question, teacher. Uh, we got to think, right? After the conversation with my classmate, I think always is a decision because, um, for example, I think or el pasado el pasado de creer teacher. Sorry. I believe. I believe uh, that the one person uh, when when uh, still a uh, robot, verdad? Yeah. For food, because he, it's necessary to to live. It's the justification for uh, for that uh, bad bad thing. But all we we choose to be good person or or bad person. And always we have uh, opportunities to, to make good things, right? Okay. It's always a decision. Okay, interesting, quite interesting, thank you. Yeah, as I told you today, we were going to, to think a little bit. Uh, and let me explain you why. I mean, the, the, the idea of me giving those questions for you is because, I mean, you are analyzing, but you are, you are creating more complex concept in your mind in English. So we are thinking, I mean, uh, I'll be honest with you. We are at this level, but I want you to think higher. So if you notice the vocabulary and the, the questions we are we are asking each other right now are a little bit more complex than the regular language we use in class. And you need to think and look for different ways to express. I mean, this is not the usual English we got on a normal class. I, I need you thinking, thinking in English. Okay, just give me a second. Because I got another one. Well, let's do something. Let's go check on the on the manual what we got there, and then we can stay with the conversation like more in a more relaxed way. But give me just a second. Let me see where is it right here. Okay, now, uh, this is yesterday's vocabulary, right? Did we do this yesterday? Analizamos ayer, let me remember. No, teacher. No, right? Okay, we are going to cover, this is just vocabulary. We got the recruitment coordinator. What are the requirements? Well, he needs a bachelor's degree. Uh, he or she give me just a second. Okay. 
He organizes schedules of candidate interviews, offense and post requisitions, coordinates internal and internet job posting, has a degree in management, works with and supports a recurring team, has five years of experience, works on weekdays, works part-time, benefit specialist, bachelor's degree. Now, this is the word that I need to, to emphasize, a bachelor. Okay. A bachelor is a, it's a degree you get in three years. I guess the other day I was explaining this, right? Okay, so let's explain what is a bachelor's degree. Yeah, right. Yes, yes right. We were talking about a BM, BMA, right? Yeah. Okay. Develops and maintains competitive, progressive, and proactive compensation plans create cost-effective benefit programs to provide motivation, incentives, and rewards for effective performance. Work on weekdays, part-time job, three years of experience in this position. Remember, this is information about HR personnel, okay? Talent management consulting, bachelor's degree, responsible for leadership development, career development, Assistance, performance, learning, and development works on Saturday. Full-time job, one year of experience. Human resources generalist. Bachelor's degree maintains knowledge of legal requirements and government reporting regulations affecting human resources. Response to inquiries regarding policies, procedures, and programs. Works on Saturday. Part-time job, five years of experience in similar positions. Okay, these are the requirements for this position. Now, questions about the vocabulary. Uh, in this case, the human resources generalist. Yes, tell me. Um, excuse me, in, in the one, two, in the seconds, uh, perdón, excuse me, uh, third things, uh, paragraphs. Respond to inquiries. In, inquiries, what's the meaning inquirers? Uh, inquirir. Uh, okay. Hmm. Inquire es inquirir. Inquires es la acción de inquirir, de preguntar, pero son como, como decir, uh, peticiones de información. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Guys, any other question? Teacher, what is um, talent management consultant? What is accesses and the Accesses, series? evaluates, evaluates, evalua. Okay. Teacher. Yes. What is the meaning of the maintains? Maintenance, mantenimiento. Mantenimiento. Maintenance. Y en el caso de human resource, the second, maintain knowledge of legal. What is the traduction? I don't understand. And what, which one? Repeat, please. In human resource generalist, the second, the second point. Maintains, 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 maintains. maintains, maintains Actually, main aim, knowledge of legal requirement and government reporting regulations affecting human resources. Okay. Mantiene o está al día con conocimiento de eh, requerimientos legales y, re, perdón, okay. de requerimientos legales y gubernamentales. Eh, reportando, reportando, regular. reportando regular, no, reportando regulaciones que afectan a recursos humanos. I confuse the, the second, uh, the knowledge. I don't knowledge, know. Conocimiento. Knowledge. No sé por qué pensé en horario. <laughs> por eso no entendí. Schedule. Schedule. Yes, I don't know. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Okay. Any other question, guys? It's a very interesting vocabulary, actually. Regarding? 
teacher. Uh, relacionados con, regarding. Yes. Yes, Victor. Uh, reward. And the reward. third of, uh aha, -huh, reward. And, and the, the third, third uh, benefit the specialist. Okay, rewards. What is rewards? Oh, Incentives rewards. Incentives and uh, rewards for effective performance. Performance. Premiums. Re ah, premiums. Rewards. Yeah, rewards. Yeah, it could be a bonuses. Could be a bono. Oh, I mean, specifically, it's reconocimiento. Mm -hmm. That's a reward, reconocimiento. Okay, teacher, I have a question. Well, two questions. Sure. Uh, bachelor, bachelor, what is the meaning? I'm sorry, I don't hear. Which one? Be be uh, in the Italian man, I mean, consultant, bachelor. This bachelor. Is uh -huh, oh, okay, bachelor. bachelor. I was explaining the other day, Mr. That a bachelor. It's a degree that you get in the United States after taking um, three years in college or in a university. Uh, not all careers are like five years. I mean, actually there are four years careers in the state, but some careers you study three years and you become a bachelor. Ah, you get a bachelor okay. degree a bachelor degree in it will be an equivalent for us like licenciado but instead of studying five years they just get three yeah. well it reduce the the whole time to just study for example yeah but but you are not a specialist that's the difference excuse me teacher you say the the, the, the last time it's like a technician yeah that's why it's not like uh you are not like a specialist the situation is this in the United States, you don't have a licenciado. Yes, yes, no. Uh -huh. It's bachelor or... Uh, uh -huh. Yes. And it's different. Yeah, you, don't, you don't have a licenciado. That's, I mean, that's why the... the, the uh, how can I explain to you? Let me be more specific, okay? You get a bachelor's degree from a university or from a college, okay? But it's uh, something that they call a undergraduate degree, okay? Uh, that's a term that is used for an academic degree for a person who has taken undergraduate courses, okay? Uh, let me let me be more specific, okay? Because I want this to be clear. Uh, you get a, actually you can get an associate degree and a bachelor's degree. A bachelor's can be three or four years, not specifically three. It can be four years, okay? Now, sometimes. It can also be an undergraduate because bachelor's is an undergraduate degree, but it can also be a master's degree. It's an undergraduate, but that's called post-secondary education, okay? So secondary education is a bachelor's degree. You take courses, okay? Those are courses. But they are like, uh, they are the first professional degree. Son como los primeros grados profesionales. Okay. For us will be, could be a technician or could be a licenciatura. Because in some areas there are no technician. In some areas you got a licenciatura. Now, the difference is this, like uh, you get, uh, you can be a technician in engineering. Okay, you just studied three years here in El Salvador. In the States, you're a technician in engineering. Now, there are bachelor's degree like in art. That's like, uh, 
For them, it's like in nothing. It's not like well value in the market. In the market, it's es una licenciatura generalista. Ok, voy a saltar el español solo un momento para que nos entendamos. Usted se vuelve un bachelor tomando cursos. Usted va a la universidad y toma distintos cursos, distintas materias. Okay. Sí, hay un pensum, pero hay materias que son electivas, hay materias que son obligatorias, dependiendo de las que tome, logra una cantidad de créditos y entonces permiten graduarse en un área específica. Si usted toma materias generalistas nada más, va a ser un bachelor in art. Okay. But if you take, uh, like the other day we were talking about BMA. Sería, día estamos a, ¿eh? sería como equivalencia, este hecho. Okay. El otro día estamos hablando de un BMA, que es alguien que toma cursos relacionados a economía, business. Y usted saca algo que es como una licenciatura. Pero es distinto una licenciatura en business que una licenciatura en ciencias de los negocios. For the, for the one that you talk about science or business, you need to take more courses. Tiene que tomar más materia. You take more courses. Lo que nosotros llamamos acá materias universitarias, allá son courses. You need to take more courses in order to get a different level of degree. And then you can become a master. And after you become a master, you become a doctor. Okay? You can be in the, the degree of a doctor. It's a, a grado de un doctor. And for them, it's a PhD. That's a PhD. Okay? So if you want to become a master's, or if you want to have a doctorate, you need to have a, a bachelor's degree. Now, in some countries that got qualifications frameworks, in algunos países que tienen una, una estructura de calificación distinta, a bachelor's degree are normally one of the major levels in the framework. Okay? Eh, en nuestro caso, Para nosotros, una licenciatura es uno de los niveles más altos. Más alto que eso, solo hay un máster o un doctorado. Y en algunas áreas no hay ni siquiera esas opciones. Right? So you are a, a bachelor. Or usted es un licenciado. Simple. But remember, we are talking about a different educational problem. That's why to make the relationship between... That one in here, it's a little bit complex because our framework, nuestra estructura, is different. Like for them, look, a preschool for them. You got, uh, you got children's garden. Tenemos el jardín de niños. Then you got preschool. Preschool will be like what is for us like four and, no, four, five, and six years. Cuatro, cinco, seis años. Eso es preschool. Then you got the, 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 the elementary education. Usted tiene educación elementary. That's two years, first and second. Luego usted tiene uh, junior high. The junior high, three, four, and fifth. Third, third, fourth, and fifth. Tres, cuatro, y cinco. Now you got high school. Oh, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Junior high is... Uh, Elementary is one, two, three, four, and five. That's elementary. One, two, three, four, and five. That's elementary school. Then you got junior high. And junior high is six, seven, eight. Porque no, para nosotros sería hasta octavo, es junior high. Then high school, that is the equivalent for us as bachillerato. That's high school. That's for them, sería 9, 10, y 11. That's high school. Now, in order to graduate from high school, what you need are uh, credits. Lo que necesita allá son créditos. Eh, similar al sistema de unidades valorativas que tenemos nosotros en las universidades por asignatura. De acuerdo a la nota que tiene, usted obtiene créditos. 
la suma de esos créditos le permiten graduarse de high school. No todo el mundo que estudia la high school tiene los créditos suficientes para graduarse y a veces le toca tomar otra asignatura. Then you have the other situation that perhaps the credits you got in high school are not enough for you to apply to a university. Y a veces los créditos que usted tiene en la high school no le permiten, no son lo suficientes como para que usted pueda optar para una universidad. I mean, you can be graduated from high school and it doesn't mean that you can register into a university. Usted no, no necesariamente eso le significa que usted puede matricularse en una universidad. If you don't have enough credits, you need to go to college. That's mandatory. College in some areas is equal as the university, but in some areas it's lower. In, a, in some sense. In some sentido es igual, pero en otros un poquito más bajo. Why? Because you can go to college, take some courses, take one year, different courses, toma un año, different materias, different courses, and you get enough credits to apply to a university degree. Y entonces puede aplicar a un grado universitario. I mean, That's why it's a little bit complex for us to relate it to our, to our context because it's different, completely different framework. Es un poquito complejo para nosotros relacionarlo con nuestro entorno porque es una estructura diferente. I mean, the way in which we study and evaluate and everything is different, completely different. Okay? It's like uh, medicine is different. I mean, medicine uh, here, the theory kills the study a lot. Acá estudian muchísimo de medicina. En los Estados I mean, they, they learn a lot, too. aprenden mucho, but eh, it's a different process. Es un proceso distinto. They start treating patients before. Comienzan a tratar pacientes antes. There are some degrees that are different. Hay algunos grados que son distintos. Like, you got a certified nurse in the state. Usted tiene una enfermera certificada en Estados Unidos. That would be like a like the licenciada en salud. But in the States, that one can, she can give you prescription. Este tipo de enfermera en Estados Unidos puede darle consulta y darle alguna, algunas, alguna receta. It's, it's complex. It's very complex and it's very different. I don't know if I made it clear the one for bachelor's for you, Carlos. No sé si lo aclaré o lo dejé todo. Well, he left. Yo creo que volvió porque ya no lo veo. Okay, but for the rest of you, I hope uh, it was, I mean, I hope I could explain something. But it's, it's nice. It's nice because uh, uh, for me, it's a good expl explication. It's explanation. Okay. Yeah, okay. explanation, yes. I understand more than... <laughs> It's different education in the United States. Yeah, it's different, quite different, a whole way different. Yes. But, but it's, it's very nice to, 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 to learn a little bit about the culture because that's also cultural. It's a little bit cultural también, you can learn it. That's okay. Okay, guys. Now, something else that we needed to check from the... From the, from the, oh, let me just do a little something here before I... Okay. okay, something else that we, I needed to share with you is this, and it's very important because From your manual, again, on page number 31. If you can check here, we got filling the following forms for the RT company and explain them to a classroom. Okay. Now, the instruction says fill in. That's uh, rellenar, complementar. Now, What I want us to focus on is the vocabulary. Lo que quiero que veamos es el vocabulary. Okay, this is the RT company. Look, job title. El nombre del trabajo al cual aplica. That's job title. Work location. 
department reports to. Se reporta con quién? A qué departamento pertenece? If it's full time, if it's part time. Essential duties and responsibility. Here appear the essential duties and responsibilities. Las tareas esenciales y responsabilidades del puesto al cual se está aplicando o el que se está apartando. Okay. Education and work experience requirements. Well, we know this, right? Employee name, employee signature. Okay, now this type of, uh, of page, some companies, okay? In some companies, they got that type of form and they use it in order to, to evaluate uh, the, 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 the employees. Algunas compañías utilizan este tipo de formato para evaluar al empleado. I mean, it's part of a process where they evaluate the employee. I mean, you fill in that the employee, it's like a job position description, okay? Es como un descriptor de puesto. And taking that as a first step, they, they got a, they follow a process where they, where you need to then later explain, explain the, the, the activities you perform all perhaps in the month or every two months. And then when you go sometime all along the, the, the year, perhaps your supervisor, your coordinator, or from human resources, they take that page and they start evaluating if you are fulfilling all those, if you are if you are fulfill all the requirements. And sometimes they check out also it it's used for Increasing the pay scale. Algunas compañías lo usan también para ver si amerita aumento. And in some cases, if you're going to be let go. <laughs> en algunos casos, si nos van a decir bye. On the next. I mean, yeah, that's, but those are, those are just forms, okay? And people from, from HR use that. Now, this is an exercise that we are going to do. Let me share. This one we need to do. And it's the, for tonight, this is going to be the final exercise from the manual, not from the class of the manual, okay? Look, we got human resources positions. We got recurring income, coordinator, administrative assistant, benefit specialist, compensation specialist, HR generalist, talent management consultant. And you need to tell me to match here, okay? You need to match if recurring coordinator, if this expression goes in here, or perhaps goes in number six or in number five. So you need to match, okay? So for, for you to make it easy, why don't you write just a letter? So it will be easier for you now like A, B, C, D, E, F. That's what we are going to do, okay? A, B, C, D, F. Let me see. Recurring curve, or you just write the, the first two letters, R, C, B, S, A, A, C, S, okay? That way is easier. Now, you will have working in groups. Let me take a screenshot. You will have, Four minutes for these activities more than enough. Okay, so let's do it.
I don't know what's happened with Salvador. Let me send you to a group. Let me send you to a group, okay? Okay, we're going to stay here due to the problems with connection. We don't want to lose connection. No vamos a quedar acá unos segundos esperando por problemas de la conexión. No queremos perderla. Vamos a tratar de entrar en un grupo. Administration of, of benefit may be administrative administrative assist. You agree? Administrative. Agreed, yes. No, I don't. Hello. I don't agree. You? Why? No, I don't. Number what? I don't know, no number one. <laughs> number two, no. benefit specialist. Let me see. Number two, HR generalist develops appropriate strategies for clients regarding employee relations, disciplinary actions, operations. HR generally. Yeah. Number two. Yeah. Number three, works in company human resource or personal department, recurring coordinator. No, a compensation no, specialist. I, I, benefit special. Uh, compensation, compensation. Ah, uh, compensation. Mm -hmm. Number four, administrative assist, but you... No, say... benefit specialist. That's number four, benefit specialist. Uh, <laughs> Come Hamlet. on, Ingrid. Come on, Ingrid. <laughs> Hamlet's administrative require, request and queries. queries and queries for senior talent management consult. No, 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 no. Look, él, él le toca lidiar con peticiones administrativas. Okay. ¿De quién? De senior manager. Senior es alguien que está más arriba. Ah, entonces ahí sí puede ser administrative <laughs> assistant. Yes, exactly. Es un assistant. En design and, in, and in play and client over a recurring strategy. Recurring coordinator recruiting is correct yes requiring in number one teacher overseers bought the talent for overseas 
overseas. Number one, talent management. Ah, uh, ahí está la respuesta. Talent. A veces como no se ocupan esos puestos de manager, cuesta poder distinguir las funciones, ¿verdad, Tichi? Yep. Uh -huh. okay. Yeah. And, and remember, also remember that, uh, as I was explaining before, a different country, different processes, different way to see the process. Uh -huh. And even the positions. Yeah. It's very different. It's, it's more different to the schedule, the, the salary, more different. Yeah, really different. Yeah. Pay for hour, no for... No, it's not similar in here. But I pay for hour in here, but it's not... Come, come. Yeah, well, not... yeah, but also remember, it depends on the position because some positions, uh, what they tell you is what you are going to get during the year. Uh, yeah. personas se refieren a su salario mencionando lo que ganan al año. Uh -huh. I mean, in companies, when you're in a company, that's what you say. And I mean, uh, it's... Yeah. It's different, completely different. Uh, so if you are getting what, what can I tell you? Uh, say a quantity. If you are getting 65,000 a year. Yeah. But, okay, that, that means that you are getting, if you are getting 65,000 a year, you are getting a good salary. You are getting $5,000. Uh-huh. But, but remember, Taxes and cost of life. That's a whole different enchilada. Yes, it's more expensive. Yeah, because I mean, if you get what, uh, I don't know, if you're getting like, some people go getting like $12 the hour. Yes. Okay. I, I look, I look at, look, the different employees or the different offer offers. Yeah. But is 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 same same you say the uh, 15 16 five dollars for for year for year but for me it's more money but for for they they are in the in this country i don't know it's more money oh, it depends it depends on the state where you gonna where you gonna get the position in which state depending on the estado uh, and if you are going to commute you say va a viajar larga distancia and what i'm telling you depending on the state it's because in some states utilities are expensive mm -hmm. uh, housing is cheap En aquellos estados en los cuales eh, rentar una casa o un apartamento es barato, lo que son caros es las utilities. Utilities es water, electricity, gas. Yes. Mm -hmm. En algo otro que las utilities son caras. Pero... En algo otro que las utilities son baratas, la casa es cara. Uh -huh. LA, en Los Ángeles, it's expensive. The house is expensive. Yes, it's more expensive, but is in Los Angeles is more benefit is is more people talk uh, Spanish and English, but not only English is yeah. But if you speak English, you can get a better pay job in a different uh, state. Yes, <laughs> yes. Because I mean, where there's too many people speaking in Spanish, the salaries are lower. Yes. And also yes. depending on the activity. I mean, there are activities that are well paid. Actually, mm -hmm. pagadas. Some others are not that well paid. And to be a professional, the competence is heavy. Yes. My, my boyfriend lives in Colorado. 
in the state, people don't don't talk Spanish. <laughs> that happens. You see, it's that more. Happens. You see, the, the salary is. Ah, more that's why you're learning English. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, guys, I get the exercise took a little bit longer. Let's do something so you can get it, okay? I will read the whole answers, question and answer, and you can be just checking, okay? Number one. Number one. Talent management consultant. Number one. Talent management consultant. Wilfredo, please read what is a talent management consultant, number one. Yes. I read it, teacher. Yeah, read. Talent management consultant overseas, please. Overs, overs, what? Talent review and performance management process. Perfect. Overseas, both uh, performance, Wilfredo. Performance. Performance. Okay, number two, HR generalist. HR generalist. Antonio, please. Okay. Develops a priority strategies for clients regarding employees' relations. Oh, excuse me, disciplinary action operation. Very well done. Just remember, appropriate, appropriate. Appropriate. Thanks, teacher. Number three, compensation specialist. Mailing, please. Mailing. Okay, let's see. Uh, 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 Luis Abrego, number three, compensation especially. Okay, teacher. Works in a company, human resource or personal de de department. 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 Depa department. Number four, benefit especially. Ivan. Okay, it's a responsible for assistance with the administrators of all benefits. Number five, Salvador de Leon, administrative assistant. Hello, mister. I'm sorry, I... Of no my okay, five handless administrative requests is a uh, human generalist. Human no administrative assistant. It's an administrative assistant. Oh, okay. Handles administrative requests and query. This is the key. Look from senior from senior manager. El le toca lidiar con las peticiones de senior manager. Quiere decir gerentes eh, de una posición más arriba. Okay. 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 That's why it's administrative assistant. Number six, recruiting coordinator. Uh, Magdaleno, please read for us. Okay. Designed and implement overall recruit, recruiting strategies. Recruiting. Recruiting. Recruiting, it's okay, yeah. recruiting. It's it's a little twist of our tongue in that one, recruiting strategy. Okay, guys, right. well, thank you very much. Thanks all of you, thank you, Magdaleno. Let me get the final attendance so you can go to sleep. I see some faces like, uh, I'm tired. Let's see, Carlos Elivaldo Abrego Marmol. Thank you, Carlos, good night. Edwin Alberto Rodriguez Lobo. 
Gabriel Beltrán Pérez. Thank you, Gabriel. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Ivan Petrovich Guzman Aquino. Presence. Good night, everybody. Good night. See you Ivan Yamilet Domínguez Hernández. Yvette Lisset Figueroa de Calle. Carla Lisset García Lemos. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Present teacher. Luis Mario Criollo Guerrero. Present teacher. Magdaleno Escalante Orantes. Present teacher. Maylin Janet Manzano Montoya. Nelson Antonio Arrodas Rosales. Present teacher. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Rosalina Alvarado. Present teacher. Thank you, Maylin. Salvador Alexander López García. Thank you, Rosalina. Present. Salvador Emilio de León Fuentes. Present man here. Verónica Arelia Echala Ramírez. Wilfredo Areva Ortiz. Present teacher, good night. Good night, Wilfredo. Xiomara Elizabeth Cisneros yeah, González. Carlos Josué Chávez. Okay, guys, thank you very much. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Salvador de Leon, please, 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 please. Salvador de Leon. Yeah. Give me just one second, one second. Okay, okay, I got it. Yeah. Okay, Magdaleno, tomorrow I need to talk to you, okay? Oh, no, tomorrow you are going to be busy, I guess. Um, yeah. There's no problem. Okay, perfect. So tomorrow I right. got some 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 tips for you. It's okay. I see you tomorrow. After perfect. Class. Excellent. 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 Thank you, teacher. Good night. Have a good night, Mr. De Leon. Hello. Hey, hello, teacher. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I got. Creo que con usted módulo pasado no nos pudimos reunir, verdad? No, no, no. Okay, I got some exercises for you that is that are going to be helpful for you to to improve even more. Okay, okay. I'm just sending to you some info. Oh okay. yeah, I I, I I see this page. <coughs> Have you? <coughs> is to listen to listen improve the quest, right? Okay, yeah, but I'm giving you the access directly to the advanced. I want you to work in the advanced, not beginners, not intermediate. I need <laughs> you to work in the advanced, okay? No, the situation is this. Look. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in your uh, in your listening, you are in an intermediate level. Okay? And in your reading, and in your reading, uh, in your reading, you can you you can read it also in an intermediate level. But I mean, if you can practice more and improve faster, that's better. That's yeah, the idea, no. yeah, I know, no, but. I, I really, 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 I try, but I have the problem with my, my new job is very complicated. The, the last uh, model, I, uh, uh, I, I work in other place, in UPS. Yeah, I, yeah, it, I was, have all, it was I, easier. I, yeah, it's, it's easier, but uh, free all night. Yeah, yeah. it's more, even more easy. And actually, uh, my terms, my schedule is very complicated, but uh, uh, I try. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know, I know. And look, what I want you to do with this is very simple. I ju I'm just asking for you one, one per day. Okay? Because you got there plenty, okay? There are many. One per day. At the beginning, perhaps you will need to listen to it more than once. Now, there's also an option there, también hay una opción, where it says a script, listening a script. Mm -hmm. Cuando, 
mi recomendación es primero, first listen, do the, try to do the exercise, para que hacer el ejercicio, listen to it more than once, like two or three times, no more than three times, trata de escucharlo dos veces, no más de tres, tres y yeah. do the, then, desde luego, al principio le van a quedar dudas, what you do is this, go to the part that says listening script, te va a ir al script, y you hit play, y va a ir escuchando y leyendo al mismo tiempo. The way you are going to be getting vocabulary, pronunciation, and practice listening. Ahora, el orden siempre háganlo así, no porque la primera vez no entendí, me voy a ir a ver qué dice, qué era esa palabra, que no estoy seguro. No. Primera, segunda, tercera vez, puro listening. No lo entendí. Ni modo. Don't worry. No se preocupe. Pero tratar de resolver el ejercicio a puro listening. De esa manera se va a ir presionando usted solo. Ahora bien, si usted a la primera dice, no, hombre, está complicado, me ha metido un avanzado. Yo aquí no, no le hallo. Y se va usted a, a leer lo que dice, lo que están diciendo en el audio. El problema es que ahí usted solo se va a poner la zancadilla, decía mi abuelito. Le va a hacer más lento su proceso. La manera en la cual usted puede hacer más rápido el proceso es a través de algo que llamamos internalización. Usted escucha, 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 escuchó varias veces, entendió la idea general, captó algunas palabras, no tiene idea cómo se escribe. No interesa, eso queda por último. Pero si usted la palabra ya la escuchó, ya la puede pronunciar y entiende al menos el concepto general, se le hace más fácil luego entender pequeñas palabras. Si usted se va directamente al reading, el problema es que se va a hacer más lento para el listening y más lento su pronunciación correcta. Porque va a tender a relacionarlo inmediatamente al idioma que usted tiene mayor dominio, que es el español. Ok. Entonces, yo le sugiero que haga eso. Eh, no me le va a dedicar a esto más de 10 minutos. Si se pasó de 10 minutos, ya no le sirve. Y le digo que haga solamente uno por el nivel. Porque si usted dice, no, hombre, si estuvo fácil, voy a hacer otro. El problema está que acá nos va a tocar la de este igual, ¿verdad? Tratamos de abarcar mucho y se nos quedó poquito o casi nada. Mejor que poco a poco vamos sumando. Ok. okay. Eh, pruebe, pruebe unos tres, cuatro días. Me dice, si siente que demasiado fuerte, pues te bajamos de nivel. Pero me gustaría que hiciera el intento. Ok, okay. excelente. Sí, I excelente. Think According to my, to my opinion, de acuerdo a mi opinión y de lo que he escuchado y he visto, I think you can, you can do it. Hey, let's try it. No, no, yeah. let's try it. Okay. A pleasure, mister. Have a good night. Hey. Take care. Hey, have a good night, teacher. Thanks for all. No, thanks to you. Bye. Bye. Okay, well, that was it. Bye-bye.